Well, imagine living in a tree, and not just any tree house, but one made from genetically modified wood that grows in the shape of a house. Fascinating. That's just one of the extreme green ideas that's being cultivated in a place you might call Brooklyn's Imagination Warehouse. Sharon Crowley has the big idea. This 300 acres between Williamsburg and Dumbo is known as the Brooklyn Navy Yard. Shipbuilders once constructed warships here. Now this property is being used as a green manufacturing center, a new kind of factory, one for inventors cultivating the next big thing. Part of the process is making molds and having them grow inside the molds into a chair. Harvard graduate and MIT PhD Mitchell Yoakum is working on environmentally friendly ways for us to live. I think that we're in a bit of a crisis right now when it comes to the climate. And I think that the way we make buildings today uh, has to change. One of his ideas? the living tree house. We don't chop the tree down, we move into the tree and we surround ourselves with woody plants and vines that help control the local geometry of a home. Blending biology and architecture, scientists here genetically modify wood to grow it into the shape of a house that allows people to live on the inside and animals to live on the outside. There's no distinction between your home and the landscape. You can have entire villages grown in this process and you're not chopping things down, you're not killing things. I think it's time that we learn how to share our spaces and our structures with, uh, with other life forms. Well, here's another example of how biology and architecture are merging. This is a chair created by something you can find in the refrigerator. A chair that's actually something that you don't build, but something that you grow. This chair is actually made of mushrooms. You can actually eat this chair. So when you're done with our chair, you throw it into a garden and feed thousands of other organisms and life forms and contribute to the Earth's ecosystem, that web of life. And this, you said, mimics biology? Yeah, it's, it's similar to the way that uh, some undersea creatures and different animals respond to their uh, stimuli, basically. So every little spot on the skin of a, an octopus or a cephalopod can sense what's around it, just like your skin can sense what's immediately in front of it. Inventors here are often inspired by nature. This artist designs energy efficient lights. Biology and nature in particular are incredible at designing efficient structures. I'm really inspired by the beauty of nature and the things that I've seen in the ocean and things that I see in the natural world. Um, but when I'm building things, I have to obey the rules of electricity and the rules of structure. And when I find that I'm doing well and making things really efficiently, oftentimes they end up looking just like natural structures, like jellyfish or like tiny little uh, sea creatures. These inventors have the support of state and city leaders who have invested $46 million here, all of them hoping the next big idea grows right here in Brooklyn. Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 News.